Welcome back to the lab, folks. Today we got another mailbag video. I think it's just mostly parts in this. Um, I'm, oh, there's a couple of tools. There might be a couple of tools. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think this is an, another thermistor. And it is. This mailbag is mostly just parts I'm going to be using in, in upcoming projects or to have around as stock items. These things here, I've, had, I've bought them before. These ones are a slightly different design of what I have before, but these are just for converting batteries to different sizes. So what I tend to do these days is I'll buy all my batteries as small lithium cells, and then I'll just put them into these converters. This is a double A to C converter. So they're very, very handy for just standardizing on the particular sizes and types of batteries that you buy. That way you can buy them in bulk and save yourself a little bit of money. Now I do realize that a, a double A cell is not going to last as long as a C cell, but then again, uh, if you're going to go and, and put batteries into equipment these days, you don't want it leaking all over the place. So I'm willing to pay a little bit more and change the batteries a little bit more often to save my equipment. Selection of uh, two watt power resistors. Of course, everything was bought on AliExpress. So this is supposed to be a 10 ohm resistor. Let's check it out. 9.86, 2.2 2 ohms, right on. 20 ohms, 5.1. So yeah, perfectly good too. Okay. I'm going to go into my stock of parts. I didn't have anything specific in mind for these. I just thought I'd get a small selection of them to have them about. Well, we had a mishap there. And I went ahead and I opened up a whole bunch of envelopes. The camera kicked off for some reason. And so I'm just going to show you these things bit by bit now. Alligator clips to banana plug. These are just a pair of them. I needed an extra pair. So I got an extra pair. I didn't want to buy another whole kit. I think I should have because these were more expensive per cable than if I had bought a kit of five. Another thing I got was well, actually two things here are these kits of film capacitors. So these are polyester film ones here and I've forgotten off the top of my mind what these ones here are. And uh, they have the, both these kits have got pretty good range of components in them. These ones go from one nanofarad to one microfarad. 0.22 to 470 so I think this is a this is a they have more in this kit than there is in this kit and I don't have a lot of stock around of either of these types of capacitors and I'm always trying to put something in place for an experiment that's not you know basically the right thing so I thought I'd get a kit to get me started anyway 100,000 ohm audio taper potentiometers I'm very low on audio taper potentiometers I should get some other values as well just so I can have them around these are just little converters to so take an AA cell and turn it into a D cell. And I've kind of gone uh, away from any other kind of cell other than small primary lithium cells for these kinds of purposes. Okay, so these are transistors. These are TIP 142s and 147s, so are complementary Darlington transistors. And these are the type I'm using in my um, cheap guitar amplifier. So I thought uh, a couple of iterations of those and I'd run out of them, so I needed to get some spares. And I've never bought these before from AliExpress, so I'm dying to find out if they're up to spec or not. And we'll find out. If you're following along on that project, we'll find out, because the next iteration I'll be using these. These are very little MPPT solar charge controllers. What I'm going to use these for if you watched a couple of uh, mailbag videos back, I got in this uh, 35 watt solar cell. I think it's more like a five watt solar cell, so I'm gonna stick with that. I will check it out once we get some sunlight around here. I'm gonna use this outfit here to charge up the battery in my Bluetooth speaker that I have at my gazebo. So that's what this project's for. These here are just tiny little slide switches. I got these primarily because I want to use them in small projects or even devices that I have that have little lithium cells in them. So putting one, one of these little switches into those little projects just to disconnect the battery entirely 
so that it has a longer shelf life. That's the reason I got these. These here are linear taper potentiometers, and I believe they're 50K. And I got these for the tone control part of my cheap guitar amplifier project. These are just some small little uh, TO220 package heat sinks. And I think they'll also work with TO247. So yeah, they'll just, they'll just fit in there. These are 10 UF 50 volt ceramic capacitors. Always had some around. I went a week or so ago to try and fish one out and I couldn't find any. I must have used them all up. So I got these ones in and now I'm going to have 50 of them or 100 of them in stock. But then what this is, it is a quarter screwdriver. It's a, made by a company called Aromax. And I don't know how to get, oh, push. There we go. So here's the unit itself and it's got all these bits with it. It's supposed to be held in magnetically. Yeah, the huge selection of bits there. From some fairly large ones, right down to the tiniest. Yeah, just pulls up like that. That flashlight always on? I don't know how to use this. So let's put a bit in there, something that you can see rotating. Uh, does it come with any instructions? Yes, there are instructions in this box. They're in English. And another language on this side? Yeah, there's German there over here. So you could just use this button here to cycle through the different torque settings. Say so that's the battery, but 70%. You give that a couple of quick presses and you get into where you can set the torque. So let's put down at one. Yeah, one is the low torque. Five is the high torque. Oh, yeah, that's strong. We'll see this in use from time to time, whenever I have to take something apart and put it back together again. This is not the cheapest thing in the world, but I think it's a good quality kit. And I think it uh, comes with enough bits to make it uh, very interesting. That snaps in there like that. But it should be very handy. I keep this on my bench. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. Sorry about the video fouling up on me. I'm really not sure what happened, but my camera does look like it's working properly right now. And I've got more stuff coming in, so I will keep it around for the next mailbag video. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.